Hey guys, it's Martech right here back with another video. Today we are going to be uh, getting out of the recovery mode after restoring to stock iOS from uh, using Pluvia Master. This uh, Pl Pluvia, whatever it's called, um, basically on my iPhone 4 under the download video. Uh, I've entered to download the iPhone, but now I've restored to stock iOS, and I have recovery mode. So I'll show you how to fix it. So first of all, you need the Pluvium. So the requirements are: you need Pluvium Master, you need the uh, IPSW, the iOS sample will put to IPSW. Um, and basically, you need your phone. And yeah. And you need a Mac computer. So first of all, guys, uh, you want to put terminal, and you want to do CD, and then drag the the Pluvia master, and then you want to do dot slash make ipsw dot sh. Put your ipsw in, and then do reset. And uh, once it did, it will say there is a IPSW called with um, NVRAM. So I've had three couple of word this. So if your iPhone is stuck in recovery mode after using the Pl Pluvia Master, this is how you can get out uh, rid of it. And next, guys, on your iPhone 4, you want to put it in DFU mode. There are online um, thing. People that will show you how you put into DFU mode. I'm not going to do that right now. And as you can see, I just put my device in DFU mode. Oh, there you go. And you're going to do dot slash restore dot sh and with the NVRAM reset, the I you put that in the restore dot sh, and it's going to do its stuff again. Gonna send IBSS and iBack. So, this is how to get back to stock iOS if you've restored your, you know, iPhone 4 to iOS 7.1.2. Now, once it starts the, like looking like the downgrade process, it should be a line that will never move, and there should be nothing like you know, when you have an Apple logo. And then on the bottom, you have the line, the progress bar. Well, it's going to look like there's nothing. It's like blank. There's just only a line, uh, the progress bar. There's like not even an Apple logo. So it should look like that. Eh, it might not. You never know. And then basically, it, this will only take, what, like a minute. A minute or two, depending on how fast you have. Uh, Mac is and what you know, what year and stuff should finish in just a second because this is the resetted, so it, you can use your stock iOS. So you can use iOS sample one point two again if you want, because I've because I've downgraded it, but it was in a different one. It was um. Uh, show show me a shino, and uh, I I'm like I was so stuck. Of, I was like so scared. For how am I gonna get the uh, the uh, the um uh, how am I gonna get back the back to restore to stock iOS? Cause like geek grade worked, but it never worked uh, with the. Uh, I was said pull up point two to go back, so yeah, I don't know what I should have done. Sorry guys for not uploading so much because I've been I've not been good this rec this year recently. Yeah. Hopefully I'll be back on track and able to um do more videos. Anyways guys, the restore process has finished and now I finally can use iOS 7.1.2.
With Shiny Shino, I'm probably not going to risk it because it's uh, a bit differently. And I don't want to risk it. But I might sometime. Anyways, guys, we'll see you later in the next video.